a unique opportunity at Albany Medical Center. It's not every day they get to scan a fossil from millions of years ago. News 10's James De La Fuente was there for the big moment and has more on what was revealed after a CT scan of the artifact. Okay. Talk about a special delivery. The New York State Museum brought a dinosaur egg to the Albany Medical Center's radiology department to undergo a CT scan. Why? Because they wanted to find out what was inside. This fossil was actually on the, someone's mantle. They didn't want it anymore. And they called us up and said, hey, do you want a dinosaur egg? Robert Farinek, director of the New York State Museum Research and Collection, said of course they wanted the egg. It's believed to be a hadrosaur or duck-billed dinosaur. It's actually a particular species is New Jersey State fossil. But that's not all they brought. They also scanned the skull of the oldest known giant beaver specimen, carbon dated back 13,000 years. It was about the size of a black bear, up to 220 pounds. They didn't have incisors that were capable of cutting down trees. Um, also did not have big flat tails like modern beavers. Robert tells me the one main question that kids ask about the egg is there a baby inside? The egg and the skull were then sent into the machine and in moments the scans were conducted and results were up for discussion. We're not really making out any particular structures here. I think the issue here is that it's all very dense and so we've been trying to play around with the images to see if we can see anything that stands out like maybe as a, as a bone within the egg. And I can't really make anything out. But that does not mean it's empty. Cody Schuster performed today's scans. He says there are other options at the hospital for getting a better look. So when I take it over to that server, I can specifically say, like, take out these elements versus these, and if that was to show a dinosaur bone better than the other in there, I could subtract that out and make it right. and, and allow you to see it. He says it may take a few days to further look at the scans. We'll bring you those updates as soon as they come in. Reporting in Albany, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC. So this is